Score Don't Flop 6 birthday. We are here back in style just like we were last year. It's a Sunday, day two. Everyone's hungover and shit, but we're still gonna turn the fuck up and get into the day, alright? This is battle number two. It's a debut, and the MC on my right hand side I'm about to introduce his first ever battle in Don't Flop all the way from the other side of the world, Australia. Make him feel welcome, make some fucking noise for purple! <laughs> Sydneyoutaboys.com Shouts to Don't Flop Australia, number 83 Big up purpose every single time, so good to finally have him out here man, after 6 years Alright, and MC on my left hand side, if you haven't seen that classic rap, The Clash with Sunburn Make sure you watch it in the end board at the end From London, you know the fucking name, make you feel welcome, make some noise for Quill! Alright Purpose got the flip because he came the furthest, obviously pause, he won the flip, he chose Quill to go first, it's round number one of Quill, let's go. Yo, before I rap, let me speak. Is everyone in this venue agreeing that he looks like Eek? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a good rapper. It's just I've proven time and time again I body your calibre when will they learn? What is this er? Another mid-tier badge me to fucking earn I mean after a classic with Raptor nobody predicted that I'll battle you Cause well they didn't know you existed You not on my hit list, you just an obstacle to keep this trooper trained You're a faceless target in my shooting range, I ain't battling you Give me the loss, I ain't giving a toss This mid-tier pond is too small for me to swim in How can I know where I'm going wrong if I keep on winning? So I ain't battling you I kinda show the crowd where the fire is Cause I choked in stylist But now I know what my style is It's stylish without a stylist I only came to battle this stage But you wanna die in this ring And I'm fine with this This the only venue that's been my witness To see me slipping on bars like Stevie G So uh mm. <laughs> See Marlow football bars ain't whack. Uh, pull the T, I'm back. I'ma make your whole team collapse. This is Henri returning to Leeds without the full team on his back. Mm. I swear you will know this guy if you ever used a big head cheat in Golden Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm in a predicament. I feel like I haven't fully revised for this battle. The Dutch can keep me high enough to watch Ryan babble. Mm. And I need everyone here to leave saying Quill went hard. Cause I ain't battling you. I'm battling every fucking rapper on this card. Mm. And that's the problem. You don't oppose the threats and naturally I'm kicked back motherfucker but I'm still taking your blood. Like the guys who kidnapped your brother. Yeah, you came from down under, you getting put down under. Six feet under soil, this an assassination as soon as his feet touch the soil of this assassin's nation, I swear. Mm. Stop sleeping man, I said mm. you ain't gonna wanna write no more. Mm. I got a lighthouse flow, yeah I'll guide you for sure. Personality, mm. wake up man, personality, perpetrate you lack as a battler, so I'll need to perpetrate and assassinate in your character, but I can't ignore the fact your real name is Ryan Hasselhoff. <laughs> Would you like to call this battle off? <laughs> <laughs> Should have booked your chick a plane spot. It might stop you from choking on your peer if you had your bay watch. Mm. I mean, you must be embarrassed when you shout Hasselhoff when you go to surf on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you should change your surname to Lee and purposely call yourself purposely. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of wordplay for Lee's that like the night riders found his way to the cemetery. You're a talking mm. carcass, cuz, cuz, you dead already. <laughs> You were playing as hard as my bars BQ Kinda piss on the Australians barbecue <laughs> I seen your chick, she's not barbecue Is that the angle? Yeah, that bar be acute <laughs> Go ahead, I'ma let you spit But you already know I ain't going anywhere R.I.P. to all that kettle shit mm -hmm. Let me show you a magic trick And transform Quill right in front of your eyes like he was Megatron I tell him pick a car that's when Ryan put the pressure on. And just when you go to save his guy's no good, he cries and soaps, he's dead and gone. All of a sudden, snap! There's no time to put the kettle on. It's ISIS, look, your head is gone. I don't know why we couldn't get along. Let's just say I'll write the book and judge him by how surprised you look, you've read me wrong. I said, sure, he could bring his 15 deep crew with him. Why not? I mean, between me, you and him, this already looks like a rescreen for Green Street Hooligans. <laughs> Kill time, and this time it's rough. You look like me if I was 30 and didn't realize I suck, bro. <laughs> Except the haircut's a little sharper, style a little smoother. He's mild with his maneuvers, I'm wild. I'm in the future. He said he had nothing to gain battling me. 
and he's right, this shit was stupid because Aquila is stationary and he's colliding with a movement. Go ahead! Hey, go ahead! Wave that imaginary knight at me and shoot it with his eyes closed, hands shaking like, I don't want to do it! You one of them cloak and dagger lonely rappers that corner a girl at the bar and start spitting poems at her. <laughs> the silhouette smoking menthols in a beret, bro, you overacted. Mm. Why don't you just tell that girl the truth? You have a local talent. <laughs> but anyway, I know you guys might be late, and I'm like nine years late, but my mistake, I caught more bodies in my time away than this guy has faced in his life to date. So outline the date, time and place and I erase the rhymes you make. Isolate the 40 you're lost and bring it to life on stage. I got something on my mind today that'll pluck the feathers off Quill. Bro, I don't care how you feel. You made Ur give you a spot on this card to prove your friendship was real. And all it's gonna end up getting you is killed. You caught an attitude because you had some views, but you're an average dude, and that's the truth. A lot of people rap like you. A lot of them have more talent too. If you're the reason they wheel out the flashing lights and the camera crew, then how come I'm from a much smaller market and I'm stamping you? Hey, you know what? He's a UK's Got Talent contestant. Cause he's on one of the biggest platforms across the land doing his song and dance. But at the end of the day when the lights go out, well you still haven't got no fans. I mean, am I wrong though? Damn. Let me get this clear. He's on a three battle winning streak and he's trying to defend it here. And I'm no threat, that's what he said. But the pretense was weird cause he was talking about what he does. And he said career, I'm still trying to figure out what he meant. This here, bro, you only exist for three weekends a year. Yo, so tonight you're gonna be at the after party acting like your life's Vegas. On some club going up, all night haters, girls all in his section. Then four nights later, you in front of the same porn site, naked, drinking sort by raiders. <laughs> Running up to any girl in the street like, you're my favorite. She said, you tried that line on me already four times, save it. <laughs> Bro, your confidence is a product of the league's success. You disappear completely if Ur decides not to feed his pets. You dueling with the king of jewel errors, a seasoned vet. I reform and reinvent. So what should I do with him, yo? What does Leeds suggest? Should I feed him text, throw clips through his tea like Rex? No, I'm playing. I'm not thugging. I just wanted to see him sweat. <laughs> Should I feed his legs to my dogs like DMX? Well, this isn't Snatch just because he looked like William Banks. Mm. What you call a punchline to me is a stretch. So even if you kick in the door, acting big only leads to death. Mm. In Leeds, I said, you at the edge of darkness. You leave empty handed and heavy hearted. That's one round zip. And we just getting started. Mm. Number 83. <laughs> Yo, for this battle I didn't even prepare. You said I look like you if you didn't know you suck, so you are aware. <laughs> <laughs> you fell off in Oz. That's just a climbing frame. We way colder in England. Let's see how you adapt to the climate change. I got flows your brain can't work out. So let's keep your mind in shape and jog your memory back to when you were spitting with Prime going eight. Mm. You was at WRC, no, not a right race, huh? But you did go off track when you didn't have Prime to navigate, huh? Mm. You was a spending with the pedal to the metal, hit the pedal like Vettel and drive straight to the next level, but you man just settled. Leaving mm. behind bread, you, Hansel and Gretel, now you battling me. That's hardly having your hands on the grail, you lost in the final. So how haven't your plans failed? Why is he here, huh? I thought this spot was something you had to win. But it's like you started using patches. You allow nicotine to get under your skin. <laughs> Maybe you're playing by Aussie rules, I don't know. But around here, you touched the ball when you stuck your foot in. He shouldn't be on the card, uh. You should never have booked him. Might as well got manners ill. I mean, you ain't getting a look in. Time for you to catch a grenade. Mm. See how Raptor blew up after I cooked him? Mm. And I'm pulling a pin out on the big stage. Pressure a mountain on you. You an abacus, cause, cause you getting pushed aside while they counting on you. <laughs> I see your battles were prime and I thought that shit was whack. You remind me of Kappa. Two bitches going back to back. Yeah. 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 Hey, let's go! Yeah. 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 man. We nothing close. Scary movie too. He's a fucking ghost. <laughs> and now I know. <laughs>
<laughs> and now I know why you're here even though you happen to lose It's cause this battle symbolifies you jumping off of the roof mm. I'm walking all over you Just to prove you ain't flawless You battle Mr. Two Time everything on Australian borders You try to predict what he's gonna say and it didn't go the way you saw it Trying to block punches like Mayweather but you couldn't read a thesaurus <laughs> Curtains You're a cat, no wonder why you purpose <laughs> <laughs> The reason I say he's a cat is he sounds like other rappers when he puts the pen to the page But you're an Aussie, he's Osborne, it's only right he's biting heads on stage yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Boss, you fam! King Kong, I got this bitch in the palm of my hand One spark, One spark from the left on me like sparking the zest on me Cause pop get placed in the air like a finesse volley till <laughs> Till pops all purple, stop forcing your shit Come on pop, pull your bars out, I'ma let you spit But you know I ain't going anywhere, RIP to all that kettle shit Let's go mm. My dick's thicker than O'Shea's accent <laughs> The girl see me in the street, she'd be like, no way, that's him I've been to shit since the old days Back then I'm on my own way Hang ten, his bones break Crack then dislocate. Back bends. Last time you were on this stage, your choke game at ten. So if you start <laughs> clicking his fingers like Coltrane, we'll both play jazz then. Mm. However you want it. But my friends are still gonna say I lost this battle. Like he had you, Ryan. And it's not because of the raps he's writing. It's because we all love Ali G. And you sound exactly like him. Right. Is it because you was black? <laughs> yes, Ali. Is it because you look like you walked off the set of When Harry Met Sally? Yeah. Yes, Sally. <laughs> he don't know how this works. I'll help him figure it out like he tech savvy. It'll make his heart race like a car chase at a pep rally. <sighs> I'm surgical with this shit. There's no antiseptic, so this will hurt. If you see him grimace, it's just because I hit a nerve. You got some ill rhymes, but skills-wise, we're rolling a different herb. This is the UK, not Crenshaw. You a long way from twisting perp. <sighs> You're not good at sex just because you always finish first. You're supposed to give your missus more than just friction burns if you expect that relationship to work. <laughs> See, I don't use a quill to script a verse. It's 2014, you can write rhymes on your phone while you take a shit at work. So this whole ancient stationary thing he do is a bit absurd. Do you know how many bottles of ink he went through to write that shit he tells you? You seem like the perfect person to give this pen to. <laughs> Welcome to the future. <laughs> Yo, let him talk about my music like he's got a song we like. He can diss the bracket I come from, but you wouldn't even have qualified. Let's face it, you got here by beating the bottom guys. To you, this is a good look. To me, it's a compromise. Oh, Jesus, you lost your mind? This shit screams of a homicide. Especially when he wouldn't swat a fly, but there's another quill on the scene though, and he's known for dotting the eyes, so daylight. If you take any of these quill bars personally, I completely apologize. <laughs> you think I care if I get robbed tonight, boys? I've been robbed before. A knife point, vouch for, from south side to five points. I'm sick, must be my thyroid, but hold up. Five points to whoever can tell me one unique trait of quills. What, that super quick say nothing shit that only he says ill? These days? Lord in heavens, please make me chill. I will beat breaks off quill like beat breaks. I'll teach you how to DJ for real. Seriously, you're a broke ass clown. That was your whole last round. <laughs> it goes, I'm a bad man. Out my mind, need a cat scan. Scribble balled up on a napkin in a trash can. A backhanded compliment, compliments on my backhand. Rap fans watching is confident I am back, fam. He gonna shrug his shoulders and drop with it like a trap dance. <laughs> You sound like that, man. Not bad, man. <laughs> but on the real though, even he don't feel them petty words. That's too zip. You lost already. And from here on, shit get worse. Scoreboard. Yo. So after I gave up trying to find you on YouTube, I started to study the Dalai Lama, you know, in search of a purpose. <laughs> Not once does he say anything about an alien-headed Australian person. <laughs> I mean, a head shape like that is a rare find. I bet you can keep loads of things at the back of your mind. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Time for you to back up the shit you say in your dumb rhymes. You said you buried a whole of mosh team. That shit don't even need a punch, man. <laughs> you work in a cool centre. That's not so bad. Hear the Australian on the phone in the Foster ads. <laughs> Why is this Australian acting black? I had to stop and wonder. Are you Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder? <laughs> <laughs> you and Prime were spitting about licking off shots. What, you the Scissors and Wizard of Oz? <laughs> well, I wanna have fun with Gun Bar. <laughs> well, I wanna have fun with Gun Bar, so I'm aiming a strap for Tim K. Hill. We get this Australian cat. <laughs> I found out you're staying at the Marriott, right? So I'm coming holding arms, pop, get smoked in the hotel, plastic bags over the smoke alarm. <laughs> I, don't mean, I don't mean bullets when I say you're getting shot, I mean picked apart and put in a bag. But that's what happens when you break down the odds. Mm. I dug a grave, fell in it, climbed out, you getting buried in it, headstone, whatever if he's in writing with it, but I'm fine with lagging about what everybody's lagging in it. Plus a smoother, you should fit nicely in it. Mm. Keep the dot and now don't flop. I give you your props, but it took you a long time to be spitting at the top. Yeah, I get it, you saying bolting the quickest of the blocks by eight years. Eight years you've been battling, rapping on stages yet nobody happens to know what your name is. Eight, what? Eight years, eight years you've been battling. You should have focused on chasing the paper, chasing the racing, you be... Eight years you've been battling, rapping on stages yet nobody happens to know what your name is. Eight years, eight years you've been battling. You should have focused on chasing papers, this ain't the marathon racing. You be keeping a steady pace for ages, I got my spikes on now. You're still running in trainers that don't have the laces, you're two dimensional. What do you think you're gonna shoot up like space invaders? Now eight years, eight years you've been battling. Australia might respect it, but from my perspective, eight years apart, you push bars and have an open doors like a fire exit. <laughs> Actually, in some ways, that's quite impressive. Not eight years you've been battling. Your single with the city had a voice is a failure. If battle rap had one single voice, it would say, fuck off Australia. <laughs> <laughs> right now it does, so fuck off Australia. <laughs> On purpose. I do shows even though nobody knows it's me. I like I'm balling off my music even though my downloads for free. <laughs> I'm a scribble jam battle rap OG. I write full rounds every battle because nobody told me we stopped doing OT. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one thing that's noticeable, your schemes. More stretched out than a yoga hall. I mean, most of your quotables are about things that are released out of Pokeballs. I mean, Pokemon, bro, come on. Eight years you've been battling. <laughs> <laughs> your to touring was like Titanic. You played your cards right and it kept you afloat. Mm. But the final scenes were too cold and you had to let go. Mm. So how you spitting overseas, man? I just have to know. Are you playing an acting role with DiCaprio? Mm. What the fuck's happening, bro? I thought that you was dead and gone. What do you mean you're part of me? And you make me head strong and fuck it, I ain't going anywhere. I'll put the kettle on, let's go. Mm. Yeah. Yo, you must have me confused with somebody else. But I'll let you get a round off to save face. Eight years, eight years, bro, I've been away for eight years and we're standing in the same place. <laughs> hey. You hold it strong and this shit's still going on, but never once in any battle have I rapped about Pokemon. You know me wrong. Hey, we're almost at the finish line, but you so bait I brought a fishing line. Before we go any further, I want to take you on a brief trip through time. The 1700s, poor people in England were starving and committed crimes. They shipped these guys to Australia. So if you look in my eyes, you'll see I am just a different side of the exact same British life. I'm the evil version of you. I know you see it in your mind, so I think it's time that Dr. Jekyll met Mr. Hyde. Imagine if I stormed the shore on a winter's night, ripped aside off the Bill of Rights for an L. Can I get a light? I'm a convict, but if we're being honest, which am I? Am I the one in the old bank in a ski mask with a pistol eye that shot someone in the line just to get out of that shit alive? Or was I just somebody nobody really liked that stole bread to feed his family and got pinched and given time? But if Australians are just Brits who got sent away for handling their biz, then my great-great-granddaddy must be a gangster. And your great-granddaddy must be a bitch. He was riding a horse and carriage. Like a simp, mom was on a robin spree, clocking G's like a pew. He goes, waltz in Matilda, I'll waltz in and kill you like on the ground. Come up off your gold and your silver. The big boys told me she'd get cold out in England, but look around. I'm taking control of your kingdom and you gotta play the toll like a pilgrim. Pay it. 
Don't make me laugh, surrender. I part the heavens and make Armageddon look like God and the devil were just having a sparring session. My rhymes like army presence, Wi-Fi, bars connected. I'm in the party letting I'm in the party letting shots off till a block hot as the carburetor on a Ferrari and Good Lord, it's so easy to pie you fellas. I'm right at home. You lost in the Sahara Desert. That oasis you spotted ahead, those waters are shark infested. You dunk your arms and head in, they don't come back out. Just half your legs and your large intestine. I can't invest in this weak bullshit for half a second. I go deadpan, expressionless, my left gland is separate. Your rhyme book is mild, look, let's expand the depth of it. Think of it as a fresh canvas, I'm Rembrandt, just etching it. No, think of your life as a movie. I'm behind the red cam directing it. Waiting for you to step them, blam, my left hand's the end of it. I'll have you step down on heroin running meth lab experiments, stealing checks, watches and handbags from expats and pensioners. But anyway, you got a big mouth about how you feel now. Sit down, genius, you big clown. P.S. You didn't get this round either. Number 83. <laughs>